interview time with Lauren Berger of the Intern Queen. I'm really excited that you're here. Um, I want to know everything about internships. I was actually just interviewing for internships for my company, Wicked Candles. So first of all, tell us all how you started uh, the Intern Queen. So when I was in college, I had 15 internships, which is how? absurd. Nobody needs 15 internships. Get two or three under your belt before you graduate college and you're good to go. But I was obsessed with interning. And with every internship, I learned so much more about what I wanted to do, both personally and professionally. And I was just addicted. And the one thing I noticed was that there was a lack of resources. I would look for a book or a website or anything to help me with this internship space and to sort of navigate the waters. And I always fell short. So when I graduated, I said, you know what? I'm going to be the person. I'm going to be the face behind the word internships. I'm going to be the person that's speaking to young people in a positive way about their future with both internships and career advice. And um, started doing this full time in 2009 and uh, it's, it's kind of blown up ever since. That's amazing. Talk yeah. about an entrepreneur story. And I love mm -hmm. that it started from a place of demand Mm -hmm. And then you saw that right. opening and then that need for it and you went for it. It also yeah. goes to show that like whatever your passion is and you like internships, you can make a career out of it. Yeah. That's it, awesome. What would you say to the people out there that are considering getting an internship or they feel like, do I really need an internship? What are the perks of having an internship? I feel like it's pretty mandatory to get an internship these days. I mean, it's the one thing that's going to differentiate you when you're out there trying to get a job. And if you don't have an internship under your belt, I guarantee the other person that's interning, that's uh, interviewing for the job did have an internship and they're going to get the job over you. So you really have to intern these days. And studies are showing that students with internship experience get hired at a, uh, a, a higher starting salary and they get hired faster than those without yeah. internships. So you got to do it. And the skills you learn, the resources, the right. people. I you did know. not intern, and I think I should have. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I think the most one of the most valuable things about an internship is to be in a place where work happens. Yes. Because the rest of your life, until you graduate from whatever institution of education you have, as high as you, you go, it is a structured academic environment. And that is very dissimilar to what most people, right. what, what you have to live in right after. It's, so it's great to be able to go to a workplace and then leave it and come back to school and then readjust your expectations of what it's going to be after. And unemployment rates are high right now for a lot of student, students graduating. And, and we, when we had an intern, after her internship expired, we hired her. So that's another right. thing too. You get in as an internship and then if you do a great job, they're going to promote from within before hiring someone out else completely outside of the business. Right. So what do you think about all this controversy within at least the entertainment industry? There was like someone who said, who's blowing up the whole unpaid internship world. Do you think? There's a couple people out there doing that. Yeah. I hear they uh, stalk me on Instagram. Oh, so nice. really? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I was, I was literally up at 6 a.m. this morning doing radio interviews about the White House issue with unpaid internships because yes, there is this huge debate. I mean, it's been going on for a while now over whether to pay all interns or not pay them and the most recent uh, debate is should the White House be paying interns? They have about 300 interns every year and apparently it would, it would cost them $2.5 million to pay all of their interns. So wow. it's this, there's this group that has made it their initiative to really attack Obama so about that. What's the general consensus? Because I know when I was an intern, I didn't get paid. I got credit though. Right. Yeah. So yeah. what right. is, so d d what is, right. what's the right, right thing to do? I want to make sure that we're doing the right thing to right. do. So I do mean, you. Right. Look, my book is called All Work, No Pay. Like all I had, okay. I had had unpaid internships. They were the most beneficial experiences of my life. I would go back and do them all again if I could. I think if you can get paid for an internship, that's great. If a company can afford to pay their interns, great. But if paying your interns means that you're only going to accept half the amount of students, then I feel bad. I think it's kind of sad because these internships are such powerful experiences and it really is an investment now and you really get the payoff later. Right. So I think that's the issue. And I think um, again, a lot of people focus on paid versus unpaid. I think the debate should be about the structure of the opportunity. Is it a structured learning experience for a student? If it is, you know, great, but a lot of these companies, even some of the companies that are paying their interns, they're saying, well, we're paying our interns, so we don't have to worry as much about the structure of the internship. And no, that's too bad because then yeah, the, the student's walking away with a paycheck, but nothing else. So Exactly. I remember the shows I worked on, we had interns and it was the best. And I'd, I wish that I had those jobs, even if they didn't pay, because you learned so many valuable, specific right. skills. And, and a lot of people know that in college, you're, you're learning a lot of general, non-specific 
non-skills. Right. So I think if you're going to offer an unpaid internship, like for your company, for example, if you guys offer an unpaid internship, I suggest making it 12 to 15 hours per week. This way someone can have a part-time job. Yeah. They can go to school. I mean, I you know, went to school. I, when I was out here over, uh, over the summer interning, I worked at Islands, Fine Burgers, Waiting Tables, you know, years ago. And I, and I had two different internships because they were only requiring 12 to 15 hours per week. So you can get it done. It's all about, you know, Hustling. it's all about the hustle. Hustle. You'll learn so much. It's so worth it. And you could very well have a job at one of these companies right. that you wish to work at. Right. So really cool. I'm so happy that you're here. Really great tips. And then where can people, they can go to your, your website. Yeah, my website's intern Queen Your at, book's on there? Yes, at Intern Queen on Twitter, and the book is called All Work, No Pay. Wow. All Work, No Pay. Awesome. It was so great to have you here. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you all next time on Pop Sugar.